Shetty. I'm a co-founder of a synthetic biology startup, Ginkgo Bioworks, in Boston, Massachusetts. And, you know, my interest is in the idea of engineering biology. So rather than the study of the natural world, how do we actually engineer organisms? And I think there's kind of three key trends happening right now that's making it such that our ability to engineer organisms is growing kind of astronomically. So one is that, that the process of engineering biology is becoming more and more industrialized. So what was once kind of the purview of craftsmen and who are kind of very skilled practitioners of genetic engineering is now becoming an industrialized, automated, high throughput process uh, for engineering organisms, which means the complexity of the systems we can engineer is increasing. The second trend we're seeing is kind of a consumerization of biotech. So we're starting to see engineered organisms that are not just for producing medicines or for crops, but really that are kind of in the mass consumer space. And so this means that the general public is interacting with engineered organisms in a way that they've never had before. And then the third change we're starting to see is one where the ac or access to tools is becoming more ubiquitous. So you know there are artists in India who are able to start to engineer biology by just making some basic lab equipment out of spare parts that they, they have lying around. So these three trends means that there's a lot of changing in biotechnology, where new people are coming in, they have access to tools that they never had before, and the complexity of the systems that we can engineer.